Hello and welcome to Toneless Painting with M. Francis McCarthy. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and it's another long form video. We did another week, we got through a bunch of toneless minutes, and now we're going to share a painting that I did maybe two months ago, one month ago. It's hard to say. I've been it's September yeah and we're in November so eh, month and a half something like that anyway it's called morning haze it's a six by eight it's one of these ones that I did on a heavily textured board a piece of masonite um, and one of the ones I ended up having to sand down uh, to good effect I will say uh, I, I'm quite pleased with the composition of this piece I think it works very well and also it's one of these ones where I decided in the sky area that you can see uh, to you know not really get into a bunch of detail just kind of go with the kind of unified field of color um, and definitely with a yellow tone uh, and I'm really pretty happy with the way this painting turned out I do intend at some point to paint it larger um, this will be some point when I am no longer fixated on doing small paintings in fact I had uh, a couple come into my studio the other day and they were like oh are you a miniature painter now mind you I have large paintings up on the wall but quite a few little ones on the shelves and things for people to buy you know these were tourists as well uh, and they didn't buy anything but that's all right you know that's fine you can come you can look you can chat um, but if you do buy something, uh, I'm definitely going to be appreciative because mm, us artists, especially in the modern era, with uh, people having so many, um, you know, such a multitude of distractions, uh, we need uh, your support more than ever. So if uh, you're a painter, uh, well, even if you are a painter, I'm a painter, I buy other people's work all the time. But, uh, you know, if you're a painter, I can give you a little slack maybe. Because you got a lot of work of your own up, uh, you know. But uh, even then, the best way to um, put uh, to get good karma, I would say, is to put out what you want back. And if you want people to buy your work, then it's probably a good idea that uh, that you go out and um, buy the work of other artists. And uh, thank you for those that have made uh, some purchases in my store this week. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll keep the content coming, and uh, if you can support me by uh, purchasing a painting there, I've got some. Actually, I just put one up today. It's totally awesome. Seventy-five bucks. You know, it's a good deal. Three and a half by three and a half. Very small, but you can put that little easel on your desk, and you will admire it for a lifetime. So, anyway, I guess that's kind of a commercial. We're gonna get back into this painting now, though, and I may. Since this is the long form video, I may get back into the commercial portion later because this is one of the things I've been doing a lot of lately. Um, let's face it, just like the rest of you uh, that are painters, you know, we don't want to deal with marketing. We just want to paint and uh, we want to paint good paintings. And I, I think I'm not alone in, in, in thinking um, for many years that if I just did a lot of really good paintings that the world would be tripping over itself to find a way to my door and uh, don't get me wrong I've had some, so, some really great successes I've made my share of good sales and I've had a museum show and uh, I've had some really good uh, one-man shows in, in uh, galleries and um, you got nothing to complain about but uh, I have a lot more paintings than I have uh, galleries, uh, you know, that, that can move those paintings. And so this is one of the reasons I started the store. And this is one of the reasons I'm working so hard on that aspect of my work now. Because it's just become time as much as I would prefer to just paint. And uh, and also, you know, I don't just paint. I mean, I do these uh, these video presentations. I have to... Um, archive and collect all my various stages of each painting into one archived video before I even um, get to the stage like I am now where I'm using that archived video to do you know a uh, blog cast on YouTube or what have you so 
um, but I enjoy that. So don't get me wrong. I, I like uh, I like videotaping my work, and I like uh, working with the video, and I like photographing my work, and I like uh, getting those photos to look as awesome as possible. And I like going out into the field and taking reference photos, and I also like uh, working with those prior to doing my paintings. So that's all fun stuff. But the the marketing end, eh, not so much, you know. Um, but uh, I'm forcing myself to do it. I'm forcing myself to hunker down um, mostly because, uh, well, I owe it to myself and I owe it to my work because the idea that if, you're, if you think uh, as a painter that, uh, you know, uh, you're going to collect hundreds of paintings and then when you die, the uh, museums are going to be lining up to... Uh, to, to uh, get your work into their collections. It's not going to happen. That work is just going to molder somewhere. Maybe if you're lucky, somebody will get into it and buy it, but y you have to do the work while you're alive. You have to support your work and your art and uh, find good homes for the paintings while you're alive. There's unfortunately no other way around it. In, in the old days, we had patrons, we had... Um, well, heck, one of the big patrons, if you any of you have been to, to Europe, you'll know, I mean, was the church. You know, they were the religious paintings for days there, and, uh, you know, they're awesome, but... Oh, come on, you know. Uh, anyway, the modern artist has a special dilemma, and it's one that I've been dealing with. Uh, now, that said, I have been doing a lot of painting. Um... Well, you know, it just occurred to me that I'm working on this video. It's probably going to roll out on Sunday. It's Friday now, but I, I should be actually working on the uh, the 25 Days of Tonalism post. But um, ooh, I guess I'll have to do that, too. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's probably good. I'm rambling about what's going on in the studio because on those uh, 25 Days of Tonal Tonalism posts, I've been trying to keep it a little more centered on the artists that we're doing a study after and tonalism in general and uh, not so much uh, the nuts and bolts of uh, what's going on with my life but uh, since we are here and we're talking um, about um, you know what's going on in the studio with me and looking at one of my paintings that I've done I'll say uh, this last week I've done oh two or three uh, three and a half by fives and a uh, um, I, I fixed up a uh, three and a half by three and a half. Um, I've also done a few more of my resuscitation, revivitation project where I'm going in and working on old five by sevens to freshen them up. Um, I actually did a lot of photography of a big chunk of those that I've done, probably about 20 or so. Um, which I'm thinking of rolling out into the toneless minutes. We'll see how that goes. Um, I don't think I'm going to have just a, uh, uh, I'm not going to do that as its own series, but uh, probably will just mention it in the the conversation portion of the videos. Um, also, I have been working on the uh, 25 Days of Tonalism Volume 2. I just did two this morning in the studio. One was a uh, very interesting, uh, a study after a very interesting painting by John Francis Murphy that uh, it's all um, in the cream tones with maybe um, like a, a raw sienna feel. Um, it's, it's an interesting painting. I'm pretty happy with the way my study turned out. Although I can say if I had done it on a heavily textured board, it would have been easier since I now know what a giant key that is to getting John Francis Murphy. That's the other thing I did this week. I worked on a, I think it's called a stormy day. That's a study I'm working on for a friend of mine, and it's very close to being done. And I have to say, I am so pleased with it that uh, uh, I, I'm thinking, oh, well, maybe uh, I can keep it. <laughs> but I'm not going to keep it. Don't worry, uh, friend. I am. It's coming to you, and it looks awesome. I have to say so myself. I feel like I'm... I mean, I haven't seen any Francis Murphys in real life, but when I look over at the drying area... I'm pretty stoked with the way it turned out. It's, it's got, it's got, it's got what it needs to be to to read as a Murphy. I might, I might even, um, heck, if there was a bigger, bigger, better market for Murphy, uh, I could maybe start doing forgeries, <laughs> start doing faux Murphys, right? Uh, anyway, that I worked on this week. I'd put quite a few. Um, 
uh, quite a large uh, part of my painting session uh, a couple of days ago into that and uh, uh, really moving along and now I'm debating whether I'm going to do a third pass on that I think I think I might just do a very quick and light third pass um, one thing is I think it needs kind of an additional um, glaze with a bit of a, a, a yellowish uh, quality to really sock it in um, the funny thing is on different um, media that I look at my reference on different monitors some will be very yellow um, I have a little frame uh, Sony digital frame um, that's less yellow and then I have a, a bigger uh, I guess it's a TV with a USB stick port that I use for reference and that's more than happy to make everything extremely yellow but um, I often notice when I'm posting up the uh, studies of the 25 days of tonalism online and I, I'm dragging in the uh, the original reference image that when you look at the reference image uh, in comparison to my um, study my study is oh is far less yellow and that's probably okay because like we all know uh, or should know the oil paint will have a tendency to yellow over time um, mostly that's the oxidation of the oils that is the binding medium for the paint so it's probably okay to err on the side of less yellow since in 100 200 years uh, the painting will catch up anyway um wow these long form videos are nice this used to be all i did but uh I'm used to the, I'm getting really used to the toneless minutes now. I've been rolling those out. And, uh, you know, some of them get uh, some pretty good views. Uh, I, they don't uh, get as many views as I'd like. So you guys, uh, be, if you haven't been watching the toneless minutes, you know, make sure you tune in and watch those. Uh, there's little Bon Mots there. There's little tips I throw in. Uh, I could probably do even more. Uh, I don't just sit there and sell. Uh, you on going to my website and my store, although I certainly do a bit of that too um, Because let's face it um, That's one of the things I'm doing these days and one of the major shifts in this channel is me promoting uh, my store and um, You know uh, we're adding subscribers uh, Hopefully we're not losing uh, any of you that have been with me for a while um, You know if that if that aspect of the video presentation bothers you yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh, maybe uh, buy a painting and help support me. That would be, I guess, what I would say because I'm more than happy to um, give my time and effort to promoting tonalism and to helping uh, aspiring painters or just putting uh, content out there that for people that aren't even painters that just like to watch a painting uh, happening. Um, but uh, it's good to reciprocate if you're just been taking it's probably maybe a good idea to do some giving you know um, and in the process you'll get something awesome you'll get an original painting so I don't think you can uh, I don't think you can lose especially since I'm offering a discount for uh, my YouTube subscribers of 10% uh, you type in fine art at the uh, checkout um, and like I said some of you have been taking advantage of that which is awesome that's why it's there it's there for my YouTube fans um, and free international shipping I've, I rolled that out a couple weeks back and uh, I'm happy to do that since you know who needs to figure out how much it's gonna cost to ship something I don't I don't want to bother with it I just uh, basically kind of roll it into the prices and uh, and uh, you know I try and make it easy and the last thing I guess I want to say 100% satisfaction guarantee and that goes for uh, those of you that are friends of mine too if you've got a painting and uh, you're not into it you ordered it you don't like it it's not uh, it's not what you thought it was going to be all you have to do is contact me and uh, I'll make arrangements to get that painting back and return your money I don't ever want to uh, to have a situation where somebody isn't 100% satisfied and uh, so there we go that's another uh, tonalist conversation with M. Francis McCarthy. Thank you for joining me today. I'll be back tomorrow with a tonalist minute. And now I guess I've got to do the uh, the uh, the broadcast for the 25 Days of Tonalism uh, Volume Two, uh, which I'm I'm going to get into anyway. We'll see you again real soon. Meanwhile, take good care. Take very good care of yourself and your family, and please stay out of trouble.